Mr. Perry, first of all, welcome here in Arnhem. We are here sitting here because of big news. You will be the new owner of Vitesse with the Common Group. How do you feel about it? Uh, we're very excited. I mean, there's a reason that we're here. Um, this is a fantastic club with excellent history, uh, 130 years of history. And uh, the philosophy and everything about believing more made it very obvious to us that this was the right next step for, for the Common Group. Um, and so we're really, really proud and humbled to uh, be a part of the history of Vitesse. Yeah, what can you tell us about the Common Group? The Common Group is, um, I founded the Common Group. It is uh, an investment group and also we operate companies in different verticals. We have a healthcare company that's based outside of Miami and Florida. Um, we have a venture capital arm that funds very small companies and we help them grow into larger companies. Um, and we also have a, a, a sporting angle. So Common Sport is our vertical, um, really original name. Um, Common Sport is the vertical where we invest in football clubs and also um, services and technology that surround that. So, so far we've invested in three clubs. This is our third. The first one is a club called Leighton Orient that's in East London. Second oldest club in London, um, professional football club in London after Fulham. And um, it's now in the fourth division. It's our ambition to uh, be above the fourth division. They're currently in, in, in first place, top of the table, so we're very excited. Um, they, we, went, we invested about a year ago, the beginning of last season. Um, got it under our feet, and now we're really kind of moving. Um, the second club is called Patro Eisden Mas Mechlin. Uh, they're based in Mas Mechlin, Belgium, which is about an hour and a half from here. And they are in the third division in Belgium. Um, they have started the season. They've played. They've won three straight Belgian Cups victories. Um, they're scoring a lot of goals, and uh, they've won two of three in, um, in in the league matches so far. So doing quite well this season. And we are excited about that one. And I think it presents a lot of uh, synergistic qualities with with Vitesse as well. Um, and then we've invested in a, uh, a couple of data platforms that um, football clubs use to further their analytics and capabilities, um, which we expect to use while we're here. Yeah, that's with uh, StatsBomb, mm -hmm. if I'm right. Um, and how about yourself? Who is Coley Perry? Just a guy. <laughs> Just, um, common, a common guy? I'm a common guy, yeah. Um, so I. You know, grew up outside of Chicago, uh, was a big sports fan, uh, played sports growing up, um, unfortunately never made it to this level. Um, but uh, we, uh, I've worked in New York City for the last 15 years uh, before moving to London, uh, where I've lived for the last two and a half, and which is where I really fell in love with and got the idea and the thesis to, to move forward in, in football. Um, but. Um, yeah, we, we, we're energetic entrepreneurs uh, that like to get our, roll our sleeves up and get our hands dirty in the uh, things in which we invest and, and, and expect to do the same here. Uh, would, you, would you say football is your biggest passion? It is now. <laughs> it's, uh, it is definitely the thing. Uh, I, I have basically dropped all other sports at this point. Um, so, and football has become my main focus. So uh, we're, you know, and. Gladly so, because it is a fun game, and it's just the the worldwide nature of it is unique to to football, and uh, and we love it. What are the main reasons for the Common Group to invest in Vitesse? We see Vitesse as a as a as a club on the cusp, right? Over the last six uh, over the last ten seasons, uh, the club has made European uh, you know play six times. It's that, that's very good, but there's four times where um, that, that are missing there. Um, the, but, but I think over the last few years, the former owner and, and, and the management team here have really pushed forward in this more modern thinking approach. And we think that this is a great opportunity because that's kind of our philosophy. Um, so uh, the fact that there, you guys were calling it Believe in More is sort of, you know, you had a name for something that we believed in. And so it was really exciting to come to come across a club that was doing the things and heading in the direction that if we were to um, you know, uh, acquire a club that we would try to install. So it seemed like a completely natural fit for us. 
And so when I say a club on the cusp, I mean, we think that we, uh, if we can invest in the right things and bring the right things forward, uh, pull a few different levers, then it, it, it turns this club into one of those, you know, the, taking it to the next level. And that's what we're trying to do. So we, we feel like it's right there and, uh, and, and a natural investment for us. Yeah, you talk about a modern approach. Mm -hmm. uh, what also fits in that approach is this uh, modern training location. You've been here a couple of times now. What do you think of it? It's beautiful. I mean, um, the, it, it's, it, it's incredible. So love the fact that it's, it's in like a very sportive location, right? I mean, you have the, um, uh, the Dutch National Olympics uh, um, training going on here. Um, you have that, the, the BMX over there. Um, it's really exciting to be surrounded by that. And so the facilities here are, are, are massive and, and they're great. So this is really like a first rate, first rate club um, and, and, and deservedly so. Yeah. Many fans uh, want to know about the goals and ambitions uh, of Vitesse uh, and the Gommel group together. Yeah. What can you tell about that? The thing that we always say um, is that we aspire to play um, at the best level that we can and at the top level of whatever division that we're in. Um, this is a unique place. Uh, we, we do that with other, other clubs. So the other clubs are pushing for promotion, right? Here we're going to push for Europe. That's, that's the goal. Um, we want to win matches. You know, I don't understand. Some people get into football for other reasons. Um, I don't really understand that. I think that you should get into it to win. That's the point. Um, so we want to score goals, more goals than are scored against us. Simple as that. Um, so those are our, our aspirations really are to, uh, to play at the level that the supporters deserve here. And I think that's a pretty high level. It's a unique uh, division, obviously, there to be because of you know the top is very top heavy, um, and it, you know it's tough to crack into that. Let's call it top three. Um, so we we know what a challenge you know that's going to be, and you know of course we, we can't make promises that tomorrow that something you know snap of our fingers is going to do it, but we we want to be playing um, for Europe. That's that's our goal with this club. Um, we talked about the multi-club ownership with Patro Eisenmaas, Mechelen mm -hmm. and Leighton Orient. Mm -hmm. um, how will that work together and what does it mean for Vitesse? Well, Patro is an, an hour and a half away. So there are a lot of multi-clubs now that are popping up uh, and they have their own networks. Th this is a unique opportunity because these are the two closest clubs in the world that have uh, a first division club and then to have a partner club an hour and a half away it's the closest in the world so what can you do with that you can uh, share resources you share knowledge of the market because you're both looking in the same area and it's culturally very similar um, because it's so close so um, it, it so it's really knowledge share players you could loan players from here so that they get uh, you know Patro is a lower division club so they get minutes so that they can come up to the first team and really be ready to go um, you can provide a player pathway through Patro where you know if a player becomes just too good for the quality there you can move them to Vitesse there's all sorts of things that you can do you can combine resources whether it be on analytics or data so that you're just smarter it's that knowledge um, that's that's really important, and so um, there are a lot of synergies, especially between those two clubs. Um, and then Leyden Orient is, you know, uh, there, there's some Brexit issues um, surrounding surrounding a club that's uh, in the UK, um, but we see that as a, as a more longer term synergy. Can we expect a lot of changes at Vitesse? Not really. I mean, we want to push f forward on the belief in more. You know, structurally, I think that this club is in the right place. Um, we're doing a lot of learning right now, having you know spent not enough time here to make large decisions. But it's our philosophy is we don't add by subtracting um, and and by moving pieces around. That's not our goal. Our goal is by adding by adding. Um, so what we want to do is bring more resources to the club, um, push it forward, and push. Uh, harder on the things that are, are really working here and I think a lot is working here. How about the club culture and the identity which is of course very important for the for the fans. Uh, will this remain untouched? Yeah 
largely, I mean, Vitesse has a 130 year history, right? Um, wherever we've gone, we've, we've uh, made sure to respect the history of that club. Um, it's really important. You don't want to lose the supporters. So it's really about making sure that the supporters know that we are respecting their culture. This is their club after all. You know, we see ourselves more as stewards um, of the club for a time period. Um, of course, yeah, this club will, has been around for 130 years, and we hope that it's around for 130 plus years after us, and I'm not going to be alive 130 plus years from now. So we need to make sure that the culture remains with this club so that it can continue um, after we're gone. So, so again, um, it, that's one of the most important things in our view uh, surrounding a club to not lose that. Yeah. This morning uh, you introduced yourself to the players, the staff and the personnel of uh, Vitesse. How was that? It was great. Um, so I expect to get to know people better. Um, I've met some of the players. I met the captains prior to this um, and I've met Thomas. Um, but again, this is day one of, of many. So I expect to get to know people um, a lot more deeply and effectively going forward. And how, how will you follow the matches of Vitesse? Will, you, will we see you in the stadium regularly? So we, we stream as much as we can. We watch it when we're not here. And, you know, we expect to be here as, as much as possible. There will be weekends where uh, Vitesse has a game and Pathro has a game. And we can come to both. And so there's, uh, we'll, we'll make weekends out of it. Um, and starting with the Airborne match next week. So that's going to be the first time we're going to be at a table to attend in person, and we think it's an important match to be present for. So we're really excited. You said in the press release that you were impressed by the vision and ambition of Vitesse. Can you elaborate a little bit more on that? It's the believe in more strategy, right? There, there are a lot of clubs around the world that don't actually have a strategy. So over the last two years, we've probably looked at 40 clubs um, uh, across Europe mostly. Um, and a lot of them are just getting by and they pick up players when they are missing a player. Here there, there's actually a strategy and, and a, a way of thinking. I don't want to get too deep into it because I think it's a competitive advantage that this club holds that other clubs don't. Which is why it's not a mistake that we've invested in three after looking at 40. We invested in three because they make sense and there's growth. So um, this is a club that we feel is, as I said, right on the cusp of reaching another level. And this is uh, th this, that believe in more philosophy that started before I got here, started under the previous owner, um, is, is exciting for us. To conclude, is there something you would like to say to the fans and sponsors of Vitesse? I just want to reach out to the, the, the supporters and say that even over these last four games and sort of the, the, you know, the cloud that was over the club and the, and the void of you know, knowing what the future ownership would be like, the, you, know, you can watch the matches in, in the 80th minute, they're still cheering. That, that means a lot. And um, that, you know, that is really the, 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 the reason why this club it was sort of like, of course, um, the, the supporters are there and Arnhem is there. And that's really exciting. And, and the sponsors have been fantastic Same for all the same reasons. I look forward to meeting some of them next week. Um, so we're just excited to get going. And, and, uh, and I hope that they support us as, as they support the club and, and we're all in this together.